everyone. This is Anita White with Love Your Art. We're back today with another video. Glad to have you joining me. I have a 10 by 20 inch canvas and I'm going to be using what I scraped off my um, paint table. Some beautiful um, base color paint which looks like a luscious steel like navy blue. This is going to be the base. And I'm going to use some colors that I used in the previous, a previous video um, to assist me with this design today. I'm thinking of putting, uh, let's see, do I want to do it this way? I'm thinking of putting a puddle here just to get everything started. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to use the blow dryer to blow that over. chance to see what you can do with the overflow paint that you scrape up off your paint table. Once it's blended, you have a beautiful um, base color or even additional layering color. And I'm going to use that to blow it all off. Okay, that's really a very, very pretty blue. We want to make sure we get the sides and corners all taken care of too. Boy, that's a beautiful color. And we are going to use that to assist in our design today. I have um, a leftover group of paint that I use to do a swipe and tilt and i'm using these same colors but i want to try and use them in a way that will allow this uh canvas to um, really really show up so what i have is my black which is my mars black And I have the beautiful red, which is the red oxide. Again, at Liquitex Basics. And I have a gold, which is the beautiful Liquitex Basics gold. And we'll come in this way with some turquoise. This is combo of Liquitex Basics and Plick. Have some brown here. Again, this is my beautiful brown that we have for the burnt umber brown, Liquitex Basics, and it's silver. Liquitex Basics silver. I'm going to take and drizzle some of my paint around, realizing this is a little thicker than normal. But I want to see how well these colors can blend together for a Dutch pour on here. A little thick. Hope it's not too thick. We'll see. And we'll drizzle just a little more to help 
blow as we blow, okay? And this is going to be torched now. And then we'll see what we can do on high. Well, let's try low. I think I'll try low first. beautiful I love it you can see all of the colors in this one along with the nice smooth uh, flow of color giving it a nice rich feel work on torching this Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. I'm gonna take this uh, little pan of brown, stick around, capture some of the overflow paint here so we can bring this to rest. A little bit of paint there. Mm, looks like it. Maybe a little bit of that. That out of there, what comes in there. Let's move that over. And we're good. Very, very pretty. And we'll take it and move this around from the front. Now notice that this particular Dutch pour uh, does not have the cells in it and you can't really see maybe just some tiny bit of cells here and there but if you want cells you need to use pearlized paints or metallic paints to get that this particular paint palette was not inclusive of that so torching this we had some gold and silver, but not a really, really heavy amount, but enough to light. I like the lightness here and there, the lightness that that gold and silver has actually brought in. You could add a little bit more there, but it's just a burst of color there, which is really very pretty. So with that being said, please with the 10 by 20 inch Dutch pour we have here, and we'll bring you in for a close up. All right, here's our close-up of this 10 by 20 inch canvas in which you can see some beauty at its best. Oh my gosh, look at that. that gorgeous shimmer and shine all over this beautiful custom made blue and you can see it is ridiculously gorgeous and full of like glossy shimmer from the colors that we pulled from our paint table, leftover paint from the drippings. Unbelievably beautiful. You can see that red oxide combined with the burnt umber. So fabulous. Our Mars black. The turquoise of cut, of course, is just stunning. Again, we have that coming up, blending in nicely with the gold and the brown, giving us a beautiful 
glossy shine along with that silver in there as well. Look at that turquoise there. The oxide red and black all merging together so fantastically. I love it. And here we have it. Our beautiful fall, getting ready for fall, I say, Dutch pour. And it is on a 10 by 20 inch canvas with custom made pink. Let me know, guys, what you think in the comments. I so appreciate the feedback. If you haven't done so, like and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell because sometimes Facebook does, or actually YouTube does some things that keep you from being notified. They change things up. Oftentimes our subscribers say, I haven't gotten a notification from you. I'm missing your videos. Hit that notification bell again and make sure that you are rightly informed every time we have a new video upload. I'm loving this. I hope you do too. Show your work with me. Share with other artists on my Facebook group, Anita White Art. We'd love to see your amazing work as well. So we're getting ready for fall. So here's some beautiful fall colors to play with. Until next time, keep loving your art. Bye now.